Always watching, always tracking, so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. In 1978, I was working a radio morning show when the blizzard of 1978 blew in. Uh, the temperature fell 32 degrees in about three hours time. We had 15 foot drifts and the Ohio Turnpike for the first time ever had to close. That's how bad the blizzard of 1978 was on this date. Uh, we've got windy conditions. At least there's no snow for it to blow around, but winds up to, well, 25 miles per hour at times here this afternoon. And that's going to help blow the cold air in here as the winds shifted from the southwest, giving us that warm air up to 48 degrees and now out of the west. So you can see some colder air will settle in here. And how close is it coming? All right, now you can see most of the state is in the 30s here, 35 there in Cleveland. We're still holding on at 41 degrees, but that will be changing this afternoon already in our neighborhood temperatures. We've got the Mesopotamia and Cortland in the 20s, but for the most part, still 40 degree readings here from 47 in Hubbard and Mercer to 45 in Columbiana in Lisbon. So with 41 degrees at the airport in Trumbull County, where they keep our official weather records, we turn on future tracker, shows a little light rain spotty with the temperatures around 40, but by first news at five in the mid thirties and eventually around freezing by first news at six, still clouds around. And if we get any snow, it's going to be light. It's going to be less than probably a half an inch here and temperatures uh, by the time we hit midnight around 29 degrees and they'll stay in the 20s during the overnight. Notice there is going to be some snow, some lake effect snow there in the snow belt area and we could see some light snow into tomorrow and Paul Wetzel will update you on that on First News at 11. For us today, the temperature got all the way up to 47, 48 degrees. Temperature continues to fall this afternoon with mostly cloudy skies. Still a chance of rain, but whatever we get is going to be light. Same holds true for tonight. If any snow, it's going to be light, low of 25. And then for tomorrow, a high of 32. Now that's around where we should be this time of year. It won't be as windy either. And as we move through the rest of the week, it looks like we're stuck around freezing with a chance of snow. By the weekend, we start to warm up. With that, we get a chance of rain. Notice by next Tuesday, could be a high of 49.